Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I am going to show you the Wee Forest Folk Journal. And then I have two new digital downloads that I'll show you and then um, we're gonna start playing with something else. I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do so I'm gonna do a tag book and I know everybody's doing those right now. Um, but I'm gonna do mine a little different so maybe it'll just give you guys a, a different idea. All right, so anyways, this is our little uh, multi-envelope uh, journal cover that we did and um, it measures about nine by six the size and then um, I have some sari silk tied around it and I have an old key and this heavy key um, I think my friend Allie gave it to me so thank you Allie and I didn't really know what to do with it because it's kind of you know it's fat and it's heavy and all that and I never could decide what to do with it. I, I love it. I think it's super cool. But for this it just seemed to fit right on here and it's a good weight because I just have this kind of tucked under here and um, Karen can choose to you know cut this do whatever she wants uh, use it a different way however whatever but anyway it just goes around and around like that and then it's under it's attached underneath this image here. And that's the little piece that we did together, the um, corrugated cardboard with the mushroom and the little brownie and another mushroom and a little ladybug down here and loads of fabric all around, just uh, torn bits. I found this piece of fabric and I didn't have a very big piece, but I did tear it in a couple spots. But I swear the print on it and everything almost looks exactly like what he's wearing. <laughs> So it's kind of crazy that that's how it turned out. But anyway, there's a little bit of what he's wearing right there. So um, it opens this way for the front part. And then this folds out like this. And there's a little journaling card in here with a mushroom that's all been stitched around. And then that goes right back in there, maybe. <laughs> And then it opens all the way. And then there's a couple mushrooms here that, you know, we fussy cut out. And there's a little owl uh, tag there. And I just realized that this needs to be glued again. It wants to stick up because that's right where the fold is. So that's something that sometimes you got to go back and, um, you know, fiddle with these things. Because... Um, depending on where your paper folds and that type of thing and or you know maybe you don't care and you just leave it because it's not like a huge deal it's just um, that lifting from the folding and unfolding and then there's another little cluster of mushrooms here and these ones are ones that I made from the um, the collage boards so they're they're not the same exact ones that are in the kit. But anyway, and then there's just another little Stamperia card there. I kept these pretty flat, these two cards that go in here because I just was worried about the bulk. So um, I left those like that and that just folds up and there's writing spots all over that. And then this little flap flaps open, writing spot here, there's a little envelope that's been collaged all over. And then inside is the little bingo card that comes in the We Forest Folk digital download. And that just tucks in there, maybe. And then this little um, price tag is in my price tag digital download, and I just added a little string for it to kind of hang out, and it just uh, lifts up and kind of tucks that under. And then this comes out of the back. There's this large journaling card here. This one I didn't make with you guys, but you've seen it. Just all collaged and spattered and all that good stuff. And then there's more writing space here. And then we have our long skinny tag there with writing space. That was just sort of a blank spot in the manila file folder that I used. So I decided instead of just covering it that I would turn it into a pocket. And then there's this um, envelope here, window, and there's just a couple of journaling cards there. And then this one flips this way so you can, there's a little spot to write there and you could write a little something there. And then inside of here you could write on here there's another little journaling card 
that's been collaged and spattered and all that good stuff. And then these both being in here like this kind of hold um, that little flap, that flap closed. So that's kind of nice. And then this opens and we have our little envelope window there with this journaling card. And then behind it, there's room for another journaling card or tag, which whichever one <laughs> you grab a hold of, right? <laughs> so those just tuck in there. And then our little gnome reading a book inside of that pocket. There's a writing space here. And then there's our little fairy. That just goes in there, maybe. So lots of little envelope tucks and flips and things in this journal. And like I said, this one is spoken for. Um, this is a little like deli paper bag and there's some uh, washi mushrooms and tags and things there. And this little envelope hooks on, but it can come off so it could go anywhere in the journal. And then there's just this little mushroom card that opens like that. That tucks right in there. I don't know if you can hear my kids are listening to music. We were all kind of rocking out, but <laughs> um, I don't, I, you guys probably can't hear it now because I closed the door, but there's that. I think that's a, is that a, that's a time card. Yeah. And that just tucks in there and it's kind of nice because you can see the little fairy through it. And then we have our little CD, um, window envelope cover and this is in the we forceful digital download um it's just the paper itself so you cut out the center and then you can add whatever kind of see-through material you want here and um, fold it up you don't have to put it over the top of the actual cd envelope because you can just turn it into a cd envelope so there's a little card that's in there and it's just got writing space on the back with some gesso that goes in there and then in this one we just have the two pockets that come in the digital well no this one comes in the digital download this is in my abstract backgrounds digital download and then these tags come in the digital download we forespoke and these ones do as well so yeah so lots of writing space just in that it was almost like two journals really in just this area <laughs> um you know, well, the two journals total with this and the actual journal itself because there's lots of writing space there. So little nooks and crannies and things. So then that is like that. And then this opens just like a normal journal would. And we have a little, this was an envelope, like the bottom part of an envelope. And I just turned it into a nice little pocket. And then there's a guest check, altered guest check there. And then this has all been collaged. And I did put some matte medium over the whole cover, you know, all this and the front part here and the back and the back, <laughs> just to protect it a little bit more. And then this is our We Forest Folk Digital. Most, most of the things you'll see in here are. This is the We Forest Folk add-on. And this is the original um, little kids magazine that I have where I got the idea for the, the brownies and stuff. And then this one is my uh, Torn Paper and Ferns digital download. And I just, you know, shrunk them down. And then here's my belly band that Linda gave me and I just added the mushroom and the fairy on there. And this is a um, postcard that um, Brenda, I'm sorry, <laughs> I was drawing a blank there. Brenda sent to me and I added this whole collage right here. And this little butterfly was given to me by Fern. Thank you, Fern. And uh, it was white, but I put Tim Holtz inks on it and spattered it with black and gold and all that. And so that's what it came out like. And then you can write on the back. So that's just tucked into here. And then we have, this uh, is, uh, food dye paper, um, food coloring, and my niece did that for me. And this is one of the pages from the kit, and this is avocado dye from Denise. And then this is more of the torn paper and ferns and the um, We Forest Folk add-on. And this is torn paper and ferns. 
and this is out of torn paper and ferns and then that's our bookmark so this could go wherever in the journal but it, it'll it can tuck back there to have safekeeping and then our little mushroom card here and these this is made out of um flash cards and then this is an actual playing card that i've just covered completely and then we have our little bag pocket um, this one's from Linda and I decorated it and then I showed you guys on Friday how to make these but anyway there's a Tim Holtz piece of ephemera in there and then this piece was from Brenda thank you Brenda they went very nicely with the, the fairies and that and coffee dye and then the wee forest folk same avocado dye um, torn paper and ferns same torn paper and ferns coffee dye, more of the kit, uh, lots of writing space. I didn't put a ton of pockets in this part because it had gotten so fat with um, that front part and so many pockets there that I figured we didn't need to have a pocket on every page kind of thing. Plus that gives you more writing room. And I didn't want to cover up a lot of these images. So if I were to put pockets on, they would have been on the plain pages and then you don't have that writing space. So I kept the pockets kind of minimal in this part, but there's all kinds of little cute things to look at anyways. Um, here's one of the pockets made out of book page and then I just collaged over the top of it. And then we made this little bag together. There's a um, video on that. And if you go to my playlist in the mushroom playlist, there's all, all the things that we've made um, regarding this whole journal. So there's a pocket there and it's got all kinds of little goodies. There's another one of those butterflies that Fern gave me that I spattered and put gold on and all that. And just some little tags and mushrooms and numbers just strewn in there. <clears throat> this one has Tim Holtz ephemera. This back pocket has um, uh, frames and um, the whale tail punch. And then there's another butterfly that was purple that I just put some walnut stain on or walnut oxide ink. And so that just goes around there. So that's a fun little thing tucked in there, the little goodies to use in the journal. And that's the torn paper and ferns. Same with that. Avocado dye, the wee forest folk tea dye. There's the other side of that card <clears throat> and so, oh, I think this was supposed to go back there. Um, our little postcard with more coffee dye paper just tucked in there. And then this is the one from Brent, or another one from Brenda that goes in there. And torn paper and fern, same with that. that. <clears throat> the little bits in the middle. Avocado dye, wee forest folk, some purple paper. And then this is that <clears throat> piece that we made together out of the three strips of paper and um, a bag, a brown paper bag. And so it has the tags in here like this. And I made these mushrooms. If you push on that, it, <laughs> they won't come out. <laughs> so there's that one. And then this one back here with the butterflies. <clears throat> And then this has a fairy, and they're all backed so you can write on them. And that's one. And then this is just a page to write on, on both sides. And there's a little tuck there with just some ephemera bits. And then this big tag at the back. I think we made that one together. So that just tucks in there and then our little pages again and the wee forest folk and then at the back we have this large journaling card so it's actually quite a bit of journaling space and like i said i did matte medium all this so and it is signed there but it, it's already rounded so you can see that i just didn't want to go too crazy with um you know pockets in this part of it so I kept it kind of minimal and I'll put those back in but that is the wee forest folk journal so I think that was super fun to make I really really enjoy it, it and I hope that Karen's granddaughter enjoys that <clears throat>
because it is a very interactive journal for sure. All right, so I will show you, I'm gonna come in a little closer just cause we were kind of far away there. <clears throat> the new digital downloads that I have. And the first one is the In the City Volume 2. So it's the second volume in that um, grouping. I just named it In the City again because I'm using a lot of buildings and things like that. It just seemed to go, not that these are exactly like the ones from In the City. The colors are a tiny bit different, but I think that they would go together. So um, this is the first page. I love this opera house. Okay. <laughs> And it's a 20 page kit. And there's the second page. So yeah, I really, I, I just love the backgrounds and that. I think it turned out pretty cool. I like it a lot. But the carriages and all that there. Very cool. I had a lady contact me and see if I would be willing to do a digital download um, with people of color in it. And um, so, yeah, of course, I've been thinking about that for a while. I just couldn't think of exactly how or what time period I wanted to do, but she wanted, you know, the Victorian kind of thing. She said kind of like the in the city. So um, I just kind of went with that. So hopefully this is meets what she's looking for. But it was a lot of fun, and I really love how it came out for sure. So there's, that's some William Morris. Um, I've just played with it with some gold and some other things. And then this one. So I see, I think this would definitely go with the In the City. It's just a little different. There's a little more browns in it and greens and stuff. But I think that, you know, you could use them together and they would, they would work interchangeably quite well. There's just some nice lined paper to write on with a nice design there. And then this is also like got old lined paper with the, you know, perforated holes there. And the same with this one, different design, but same style. And then there are ephemera pages. So we have the, you know, the pockets. And then lots of tags, and these are this one's a journaling card, and then that's journaling card and tags again, and then some just general ephemera. That's that opera house postcard. It's very cool. I like that a lot. And then um, CD envelope cover. And a regular, or well, this is a number 10 window envelope cover. So if you don't have number 10 uh, window envelopes, you can just cut these out, put in like some um, tracing paper or whatever, and you can just kind of turn it into your own little number 10 window envelope. So you can either cover an envelope or, um, you know, make your own little envelope. So that is In the City, volume two, and it is 20 pages. Okay, and then we have Spring, which is also a 20 page digital download. And it is just what it says. <laughs> it is um, spring colors, birds, bunnies, eggs, you know, but I didn't go totally Easter because I just, um, I just wanted it to be spring. And then the birds here, I absolutely love this envelope. It's so cool with that little bird nest in there. This one with the bun bun. And a, I think these are called apiaries, aren't they? If they're for bees? Or am I completely out of my mind? I know it's an aviary for birds. I don't really know. But I think that, I don't know. That it could just be a beehive. I don't. And there's this one with birds. And there's a little frog and a bunny. This little girl with her cute little hat. These are kind of fun. These little, um, like labels I guess because you could write something there or whatever put a number or and this one's just I found these bits all on a one page and I just added the script to it but yeah it's kind of cool and then this is just kind of a collage of a lot of the pieces in there there's another one of those little kiddos 
And then there's some pages. That, I'm sorry about the lines. My printer, I'm telling you, if I do not clean the heads every time I use it, I get the lines. But yours won't have the lines if you have a printer that works. <laughs> That's why people will say, will you print digitals and sell them? That's why I don't, because I would waste more paper just trying to keep the lines out. And I just don't have, you know, the time to redo it. And I just, it's, yeah, it's kind of crazy how these printers are, but, and it's an eco tank and I, Epson eco tank, and I absolutely love it because it doesn't use a ton of ink, but, um, that line thing drives me bats. And there's that background. That was old fabric. I think this is old wallpaper. And I've added spatters and, and these little leaves here weren't on there. And then this one's got a little pink smudges, but that's wall, old wallpaper. And then, so just, you know, some floral backgrounds that you could collage with or whatever. And then the ephemera, we've got the, basically the same as the other kit, you know, the tags and the journaling cards. I do two sets of those because that seems to be, I mean, I use a lot of, and then I just do a couple pockets because I figure a lot of people like to make their own pockets. And then just ephemera again, these are all the little kids. Aren't they so cute? love those oh and I like these little birdies too with the nests I thought that was good spring stuff and this one I just put a little square figured um layering you know and the daffodils and the CD envelope cover and the number 10 window envelope envelope cover so yeah so that are my two those are my two newest digital downloads and right now I have 30% off on all digital downloads in my shop so if you've been wanting one of my kits or if you want the new ones it's great because they're on sale so hop over there and check it out so I like I said I'm gonna do a little tag book I'm gonna do it different um I mean I haven't watched it. I watched Carol Laws do hers and um so yeah, I'm just going to kind of do my own thing, but similar because I am using doubled over pieces like there, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to end up gluing them together. But I liked the double thickness because one thickness of this, and this is just those green hanging file folders. Um, my daughter and I found a pack of them at the thrift store. So it was like, oh, that's, you know, that's perfect. And um, I love the color of these. So uh, yeah, we'll use those. We've got three of those. And then um, I'm gonna use pieces of my one of my collage boards, but I'm going to back them with uh, just manila file folder. So that'll be the double, you know, thickness there. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is have these as top loading pockets because this little tab will stick up above um, the other journal pages or whatever you wanna say. So this will open, you know, and then you'll have that with a pocket and then you'll have another one eh, of these and then another one of those, another one of these, another one of those, that kind of thing. But I'm gonna do hinges instead of doing the fabric thing. That looked precarious to me and I just I just don't wanna do it that way. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it my own way. I'm gonna cheat and just use some little tabs for um, hinges. So these are my whale tails, but we're gonna like do them like this so they hinge the book together. And um, I've done hinge type things before. You can do them with just like strips of paper. So if you have, let me see here, grab a piece of paper. Well, we'll just use this for example. And cause you kind of want a card stock uh, thickness paper and um, you can decide if you want to cut them like perfectly or if you want them torn, I usually tear mine and you're just gonna tear one that's roughly an inch. And it doesn't, you don't have to sit and measure them all, just roughly an inch, you know? will do a better job than I did. And then um, you can tear the bottom end. And I've done these a lot around Christmas time is when I usually do these hinge journals. So I'm gonna use the same principle as the hinge journal, just I'm um, gonna use the whale tails. But 
you can do it like this. And then you can tear these ends too so they're torn or, you know, you could round them or, um, and use colorful paper, you know, scrapbooking paper. This is just what I had, but that will work as a hinge. Or you can do what I've shown you something similar to, and I can't remember exactly how I did it the first time, but you can um, cut a circle like this, fold it in half, and put it into your envelope punch board. And if you put it, this circle is a one inch, or sorry, two inch. Duh. Um, if you put it at two on here and punch, you'll take the little edge off, flip it over, put it at two, just a little bit, you know, like one and seven eighths punch, and then you'll get that. And it these are pointy, so I just rounded them. And then you get sort of like a whale tail, not exactly, but it would work as a hinge, see? So if you have this like this and this like this, that would be a hinge. Or you can, I think this is how I did it the last time, you take, um, this is a similar one, just a little bit shorter distance on the envelope punch board. So you'll just have to play with it to figure out where you like it. But if you don't have an envelope punch board, but you do have a circle punch, you can make a two inch circle, fold it in half, and this is the one I think I did before. I think I've said yeah. that like how many times now? But anyway, um, and then you're just gonna cut kind of straight down and then go at a curve because that's kind of how, I mean, those are obviously different because they're much fancier, but and then you take that piece, flip it over, just like we do the tags. So you're doing the exact same thing as you would do to make a tag where you snip off the corner, take the piece, flip it over. So they're the same on both sides is what you're trying to get. So then you just do that. And that is not exactly a whale tail, but it would work for sure as a hinge because you're going to put it down here and you're going to put it on this one and it's going to work perfectly as a hinge. So those are some things you can do if you're like, but Amy, I don't have a whale tail punch. So those are just some ideas of ways that you could make your own hinges. So we're going to start with that. And put this away because I don't need it. Shook everything there. That I need. This I don't. <laughs> I need to put my pin in my glue before it dries up. Get rid of that. Okay. So I'm going to do this a little different than everybody else did. Not that it matters. Just doing it different. Um, like I said, I am going to probably just glue these pretty much together, these green ones, but these ones I am going to turn into top loading pockets because see when you do this, this little tab sticks out and I just kind of like the idea of making that a pocket. So I think what we'll do first is just decorate one of these and this is still going to be my inside just like they did. I'm just not going to put the fabric on the inside because like I said, I'm going to do the tabs on the outside. Do it how you want though, like <laughs> totally. Do it the way that you want it. So I'm gonna grab some of my papers. I think I'm gonna use the In the City for this. I just kind of think that would be fun. I like some of these littler images. I may end up printing some of these smaller, but since I don't have them right now, I'm gonna use some of the smaller images. <clears throat> so how y'all doing? I didn't even ask that because I just got woo, right into it, didn't I? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. It's Sunday for me. So, and oh, my hand, update. <laughs> I am taking antibiotics. I know it looks hideous, but what happened was, um, before I went to the doctor, I was putting antibiotic ointment on it and putting Band-Aids on there and leaving it because um, I was afraid of bumping it again. So I think I had some kind of reaction either to the Band-Aid which isn't unusual for me. I have that problem of um, having reactions to adhesives. So it was either the Band-Aid or the antibiotic ointment. And it's weird because it's right where the cotton part of the Band-Aid would have been. I'm not really sure what happened, but anyway, so I had, the doctor gave me antibiotics because it was a little bit infected the day that I went. And then, um, and plus she just wanted to make sure since it's been acting 
weird. She said there's not a lot she can do about the tearing of the skin because that's just, unfortunately, that happens. And I've had the steroids and I've had trauma there um, and things like that. So she was like, it could just be from that. And same with the broken blood vessels, like there isn't much she can do about that, but she did give me the antibiotics and then she's sending me to a rheumatologist because she thinks I've got some, you know, obviously <laughs> problems with my joints. So that's where we're at with that, but I am on antibiotics. So I know it looks hideous right now, but, and I can't cover it <laughs> because that just irritates it more. So I'm not gonna, just gonna leave it to the air and hope that it stops. So yeah, I've had the weirdest things um, recently and I'm not really sure what that's about, but. Anyhow, that's where we're at with that. It really looks worse than it is though. It's not nearly as bad. It's just cause I had the allergic reaction to the band-aids which I do that, so that's not that unusual. Other than it's usually where the adhesive is rather than the other part, but. So I'm probably gonna um, like leave the, the border mostly free um, and on some I may just leave the green, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know yet, I'm just kind of playing around because this is all new to me, but you can do it however you want if you want more of the green or if you're gonna use the same type of things I'm using, then uh, definitely have more showing. Cause it's all good, no rules, do it like you like it. Put what you want on it. Yeah, I might just do like a little strip like that on this one here. Something like that. And then we'll do a little stamping or whatever. I need my glue book. And where's my glue stick? Is this a good one or a bad one? It's not great. Yeah, I've had, um, my gosh, heck of a time with glue sticks lately because I keep leaving them open. I mean, it's my own vault. Durr, but it's kind of being a pain. Yeah, she was like, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> when I went to the doctor, I'm like, I, I know. I don't know. That's crazy. And I told her I never had an infection from when the cat bit me. You know, the first time. Like, it never got infected. It healed up, closed up, was gone. But then I just kept breaking blood vessels there. She's like, I have no idea. That is so strange. So, yeah, you know, it's just me. Another mystery, medical mystery. <laughs> Seems to be my, my deal. My whole life, really. I'm just going to put a number here because I want to. Okay. And then I'll put that down. Second, let's put this one down first. Yeah, it's always great when the doctor's stumped, right? <laughs> She's like, I don't think it's anything bad, just weird. Like, yeah. It's just really hard when you do what I do because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> and I would have covered it, but. The day after I started taking the antibiotics though, oh my goodness, my hand felt 100% better. And I thought that was so weird. I can't imagine why that would be. Like the joints felt better. They're kind of hurting again today. So it must have just been a fluke, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Like it hasn't felt that good in ages. So yeah, crazy crazy stuff. But anyhow, had a 
good weekend. Kids are here, so that always makes me happy working and stuff. But um, my daughter and husband and I went to Batman yesterday, the new Batman. It was actually quite good. It was a little too long for my taste. Uh, three hours sitting still is really <laughs> uh, not my thing. But um, it was good. It wasn't like bad and I was like, get me out of here or anything. But it, it just, I don't think it needed to be quite that long. Um, but I thought the characters were good. I thought it all fit. You know, I thought it was good. So, yeah. You know, I just realized that's probably going to be my um, inside. Not that it matters, but it would have been nice for the cover. But that's okay. We can do something else for the cover. Let me use a little bit of this with the gold. But yeah, it was it was very well done. And I feel like it did give you a lot of history, which was nice, for sure. Because sometimes those movies, you get like, what in the world? Like, who is this person and why are they here? And I mean, you kind of know the story by now, obviously, but it was just, it was good. Very dark, but they all kind of are, so. And the Riddler and stuff was creepy, creepy. <laughs> I mean, that's the point, I know. But, man, sometimes I'm like, they find some Lulus for this. Very good actor. <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay, that's good add a little something to it and then I think we will go around this. I probably should use my um, walnut but it's over across the way and I'm not sure where the because I was using it to do kind of paper dyeing stuff. Okay. Yeah I like that. I like it. I wonder if we sand this, if it'll change it at all, like, color-wise. Just in some spots, it might be kind of cool. Sorry, I'm probably shaking the heck out of you. Um, a little. I don't know that that's worth it. need to get a new one of these. It's kind of like, almost like an eraser, you know, if you don't use it enough for a while, it sort of, I don't know what that is, dries out or something. Yeah, that takes the ink a lot better like that. Very cool. Okay, now we can do the other side. So I hope you all had a good weekend you're staying warm and I know some places are hot I've had people tell me that Georgia I think Lori told me and um, I've had other friends in Florida and stuff saying it's 70s 80s that kind of thing which I can't even imagine at this time of the year I mean I, I would like it but it's crazy that's just a piece of collage paper I had so put that there But yeah, that would be toasty for sure. But it's just a different part of the country. We're pretty far up north, so I mean, we're not at the top or anything, but we're close. I mean, our state, I'm in Idaho, so it does go all the way up to the top, but we just don't live all the way at the top. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is cool. It's got just some numbers on it. Need to find out what picture I want to use. Darren's just oh got his music on. I love that when they have their music on. It's just fun. I always loved listening to music when I was their age. I mean, that's all we did because that's all there was to do, really. 
we were constantly had the radio, cassette tapes, whatever going. So it's just fun. And my kids listen to a lot of the music that I did growing up because they don't like a lot of the newer music. Um, my son does like a lot of the stuff from the 90s, so he does listen to a lot of that. Should be pretty on the front. I mean, any of them would. Just a little bit smaller than the other one. I just think it'll fit better there. So yeah, it was fun making this digital. Well, anytime I use William Morris papers, it's definitely fun. He just has great stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? This one could go under. Let's see some of those numbers. Gonna have to tear off part of her arm, but I don't think that's that huge of a thing. Let's see. I kind of want it about there, so I'm thinking, let's try to get this. Straight. So yeah, just um, don't forget about your collage papers when you make them because they definitely are fun to add to stuff like this. What do I do? It's right in front of me. Oh, that needs to be... Her just a little bit more. I don't want it like poking her in the face. <laughs> That's not nice. Let's do it more like that. I think that'll work. So yeah. Just busy busy. Good glue went. Oh, there it is. I would, I'm gonna use that. This one's so sticky, and I know I keep saying that, and I am trying to use it up, but I don't feel like fighting with it right now. So it's better to use on things like collage board or whatever than this type of thing. So this isn't gonna show as much of the green, obviously. But I still will have it as a border, so that needs to be torn off just a touch more. I think these colors in this go really well with that um, file folder, though, so that's nice. But I definitely think you could use both of those together. <clears throat> the both of the in the cities. Because they're both Victorian era. Is that gonna stick too far over on her now? No. Um, yeah, I'll use this. It's a little thicker. I was thinking about using the other one, but I think this is fine. Ah, my fingers stuck together. <laughs> Pretty weird when your own fingers are stuck together. I wonder if I put this up a hair if it'd be better. Maybe so. Just take off a little bit and I'll save that other gold piece for somewhere else. Very 
very pretty lady. It's hard to find some images sometimes on public domain for sure. But the old Victorian photographs obviously are, are safe to use because of the time period that they're from. Do I need to, yeah, the sanding really did help, huh? As far as it taking the ink, I think. stamps on there. I cut gold on my black stamp pad. <laughs> Surprise. Label frame would work. And those are from my shop. This one might work to just sort of it's only 12. Mm, I don't like it. I'll just put the frame and then I'll figure out some. Could go this way. Because then it's kind of like framing those numbers already. Don't know why, but <laughs> just because it is. Okay, so that would be the front, the first inside page. And then see, we'll take um, some of these and put one here and one down here to hinge it to the next page, which will probably be, you know, like this one. And these, I don't need to do a ton to. I can put a picture or something on them. And, you know, glue them together as a pocket and then make a tag or something to go inside. So these, I don't think I will, yeah, I'm not gonna snip these into tag shape. The other, these ones I will. But these ones I think I'm gonna leave because they've already got the file folder top shape. So that's what I think I'll leave that with this side and this is a good writing spot so I don't think I'm going to cover every bit you know like I might do a little collage down in the corner or something but I don't want to cover those and you know what I might want to do is um coffee dime a little bit oops this way Amy <laughs> so it'll go like that and it'll have a hinge here and a hinge up at the top. I'm sure you guys get it like that. So that gets glued down and then when you go to the next page like this, you're gonna have another hinge, another hinge that'll hinge onto the next page. So they just keep, I mean, you could keep going for a long time, you know, before you need to stop. Um, and the only reason you would need to stop probably is that it was getting unruly, right? But you could you could do a lot more than six uh, tags if you wanted. So anyways, 
I think I'm gonna stop there because I want to coffee dye these. And then when I come back for our next video, tomorrow's video, um, I'll have these coffee dyed and then that way, uh, and I might spatter them a little bit too with some stuff. So yeah, let me do that and then I'll come back. But thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Love you guys. Thank you to all my continued subscribers. You guys are the bomb. You've like, most of you have been with me for so long. <laughs> So I thank you so, so much for continuing to come and hang out with me and do crafts with me and um, comment. I love comments. Please comment. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll chat with you guys again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.